Hi, welcome to this Akofina video. Uh, today we're doing more financial calculator tips and tricks. The last couple I did were quite popular, so I thought I'd do another one of these um, for my first video in a long time. Okay, so what are we doing? We are doing the Texas Instruments Bear 2 Plus. That's a calculator, calculator we're using again. And we're going to learn how to use the store and recall functions. Very important, store and recall. This is what we're going to cover in the tutorial. We're going to talk about what function store and recall provide. We're going to talk about how to use store and recall. And then finally, we'll wrap up with a live demonstration with a bonus tip at the end. If you hang around to the end, you'll get the bonus tip. Okay, so what do what function do the STO and the RCL buttons provide? The STO is short for store, RCL is short for recall. In a sense, they provide a memory function in your calculator. So you may remember some of the older calculators or, or more simplified calculators had MEM for memory. And in a financial calculator, uh, they provide the same sort of functions. So what they do is uh, they reduce the frequency of transposition errors. So if you calculate one answer, have to write it down and then re-enter it another time, you can stuff things up. So if you use store and recall, you can avoid those sorts of errors. And you can also um, increase the calculation efficiency. So in other words, you can reduce the time of doing long calculations. So again, rather than having to type out numbers multiple times, you may, can store it once and use the recall button to pump in that number into each point of the uh, equation that you want that particular number. So it can uh, make long calculations a little bit shorter, which if you're taking an exam is uh, always uh, important. Okay, so how do you use store and recall? All right, it's, a pretty, it's not very complicated, as you'll see in the live demonstration in a minute. Um, all you've got to do is enter or calculate the number you want to save. So you can enter it directly in, or you can just have a number pop up from an earlier calculation. You press the STO button. That's on the left-hand side of the Texas BA2+, Plus, uh, bottom left. And then you follow by, after you press the STO button, you follow it by a uh, number 1 to 9. It's actually 0 to 9. Um, and that's uh, the storage placeholder. So you press store and then you tell the calculator where you want to store it. And then when you want to record, you press RCL button, which is just below the STO button, directly below. And then you follow it by that same placeholder. So if you stored number 321 in placeholder number 4, then you press recall 4 to get that number back. Okay, let's get over to this live demonstration. Okay, so here we are with our live demonstration. We're using the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus, a very good financial calculator, and one that is allowed for CFA. So I'm gonna turn it on here, and we just have it on with four decimal places. And first up, we're gonna store a number in placeholder one. So we're gonna try and save our first number. So we're gonna say maybe 50, 56, so I'll push five, six, then use the store button, which is down here. And then you've got to pick a placeholder, which you can have from zero to nine. So you've got 10 placeholders. So I'm gonna say store in zero. And then you'll see that it's uh, something reacted to say that it's stored. Now I'm gonna store a second number, say maybe 874. I'm gonna store this, so I press store again, STO. And I'm going to store that in placeholder number one. It's reacted like that. Okay. So let's clear our work. And let's try recalling those numbers. So store is right there. Recall is right there. Let's recall the first number. And we'll do press recall. And then the placeholder. Zero. And there we go. 56. Okay. Let's try recall and one. 874. There we go. So that's simply how you store and recall numbers. Now there's a few little things you can do extra. So you can perhaps uh, incorporate your recall functions into um, uh, equations. So, so let's clear our work. Okay, so recall zero, the number pops up, plus recall one is uh, 56 plus 874, press equals to finish the equation. And there you have 56 plus uh, 874 equals 930. So you can actually use the recall uh, stored numbers in the equations, which is really handy. Now we might be able to 
want this 930 number now. So I'm going to store 930 into placeholder 1. So I'm going to overwrite the 930 over the uh, 874, wasn't it? So I've got 930 on the screen. I'm just going to press store and 1. And then uh, I should have stored it in there. So let's clear our work. Let's recall 0. 56 again. Let's recall 1. 9.30, wasn't it? 9.30, there you go. Alright, that's the live demonstration. Okay, that's the end of the live demonstration. If you're still here, well done. Now let's get over to the bonus fact. Boom, boom, bonus fact. Okay, so the STO placeholders, uh, my slides were wrong, I said they were 1 to 9. Um, as you'll see in the live demonstration, they're actually 0 to 9, so there's actually 10 storage placeholders. Now, the bonus fact is that these placeholders and storage uh, storage functionality are kind of almost semi-permanent. Um, the save numbers will always last in their STO placeholders. So you can turn the calculator off and on. You can do the simple clear work via CEC. Or you can even use the more uh, in-depth second function, clear all the work. <laughs> you can basically do um, a whole bunch of things and that the numbers will remain in their STO placeholders, their storage placeholders. It's only when you actually write over a particular placeholder, like you change uh, placeholder 5 from 97 to placeholder 5 with uh, 62. Only when you write over it and store something else over it um, will you actually lose that data. But until you... But it, I beg your pardon, sorry about that. But until you do that, um, until you write it over, the placeholders and the data will remain. They, they, they last a very long time. Okay, that's it. I hope it helped. Best of success. There are your congratulatory fireworks for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, ring the bell, of course. Uh, watch another one of the tutorials right now. They'll be popping up and YouTube will hopefully be recommending a couple. Um, or choose your favorite playlist. Obviously share the video or even just give me a thumbs up if that's you know, got value and that's the least you can do. And finally, yeah, feel free to comment below if anything needs clarification or you just want to say hello to me or your fellow viewers. Cheers.